Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul of some stuff that Eric and I recently got enlisted on eBay. So most of this stuff, yard sale, some of it, as always, auction. Um, we did stop in at Goodwill the other day while Amelia was at the groomers. I did get one thing, but I haven't listed it yet. It was just like a some replacement Sonicare toothbrush heads. So I saw they were consistently selling at 20, I paid two bucks. So I did pick up those. I have to list some stuff after I'm done recording this video. Eric and I were out yard sailing this morning. It was raining this morning. It cleared off, but so incredibly muggy outside. I probably look an absolute mess, but it is what it is um so but we did find some stuff while we were out so i kind of have to go through that stuff as well and get started on listing those things just as a little bit of um i know in when i was doing my vintage christmas unboxing i mentioned potentially going through some other boxes that I haven't, you know, processed or anything like that that were still over in our storage unit. And there is specifically a box over there from a lady sale that we had gone to. I know there is Halloween stuff in there and I think that might be the next like box we do an unboxing of so I can start getting some of that Halloween stuff up because people are looking for it right now. So and I do have a couple of pieces actually in this haul. So let's get started. This first piece actually came from an auction and this is beautiful. I know it's probably a little hard to tell, but um, this is like a Lucite plastic material. It's a perfume atomizer. There's like an embedded rose in here. And because of the shape of this bottle, like when you look at it, it looks like there's actually three roses in there. But it's just the one it's really quite cool this piece comes out and then it has the actual little perfume um atomizer on there and this still does have its original <laughs> sticker on there as well it's um made by a company called burcraft so i just thought this was a really gorgeous bottle and these were selling pretty decently um like i said i won this at an auction for four dollars and i listed it as a buy it now for 59 dollars and 99 cents so i think someone would really love this to sit on their vanity anyone who collects like vintage vanity type pieces I ended up picking up this pair of jeffrey campbell ankle booties these are so stinking cool i absolutely love these they are not my size these are a size nine and a half um Jeffrey Campbell is a pretty decent brand. Um, these shoes probably originally cost around 250 bucks, and they're just like this really nice black suede with these studs all over. Absolutely gorgeous, and they're in pretty decent condition. The only thing I see is there's like one little scuff mark here on the toe, like someone maybe kicked something while they were wearing them but other than that i think they look great i got these at a yard sale for two dollars and i listed them as a buy it now for 99 dollars 99 so it's the cheapest one available in that size we recently won this at an auction this is an old ashtray of this man he's winking so he's got one eye open one eye closed and he's got this bee or fly i'm pretty sure it's a bee on the top of his nose so this is another one of those like smoking type ashtrays when you put your cigarette in here the smoke would like come out of his nose type of thing and it is marked made in japan on there he does have one little chip on his wing and when i look these up most of them do um some of them that were listed didn't have any wings on the the bee so this here we won for $5 and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I got this snowman at a yard sale. Um, he's got this really chunky glitter all over him with a little straw broom and he's wearing a top hat and a scarf. I didn't know what brand this was when I picked him up. It was just an R. 
But upon my research, this is a brand called Regan House with a O, so R A G O N, Regan House. Um, the lady that I purchased this from, I love her yard sales. I've been buying stuff from her like through the years, and um, I actually decorate with some of the stuff that I have purchased from her in the past. So I also got a Santa Claus, which I haven't listed yet also by this brand that I got at her house, as well as all of those teddy bears that I talked about in my last stitching video. So you'll see one of those teddy bears in this haul. So this snowman I paid $5 for, and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I couldn't find one that looked exactly like him. So I went with an auction just in case. So also at her yarn sale, I found this really awesome uh, candle holder. This is by Yankee Candle, and it's got like this steampunk witchy boot. Um, also with this like steampunk looking jack-o-lantern in it. So you would stick your jar candle in there. It probably would fit it. I wouldn't say maybe not so much for three wick since this is like higher, but for like a tall Yankee jar candle. Um, and this still did have its sticker on the bottom. So pieces like this, they become retired. You can no longer purchase them. And there are people out there who look for this type of stuff. I did pay, um, I did pay ten dollars for this at her yard sale, and I listed this as a buy it now for fifty five dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, I also have another Yankee candle um, Halloween. This one is a tart warmer or an oil warmer. Uh, this one here I won at an auction. And this is absolutely beautiful, very, very detailed. We got like a haunted house over here with ghosts and skeletons, these jack-o'-lanterns all around with the leaves. There's even like a creepy little gate fence over here. So you would put your oil or uh, tart in there and your tea light on here and then it would warm it up. So this was a pretty cool find. Again, no longer made. Harder to find piece as well, this one here. I paid $6 for this at um, an auction, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $69.99. I did an auction because there's currently none listed, and I did see in the past they were selling for um, upwards of 70 plus. So, went with auction on this one, but if it doesn't get a bid, I'll probably just relist it for the $69.99. Oh, as I was talking about the teddy bears, here is one of them. I only listed one as of now because I got, whew, how many did I get at her sale? I feel like six altogether. I paid 25 a piece for the teddy bears. I think it was six, might have been five, um, in various colors and sizes. Um, but all like there was this size I think this one is uh ugh, I don't even know now 19 I want to say 19 inches I'm not entirely sure I'd have to look up my listing um but then I have two that are even bigger than this one so this is an artisan made mohair teddy bear um this is by someone named Sharon Barron and I'll show you the tush tag just in case you'd ever come across any of these bears it basically just says Sharon one side <laughs> other side barren um the lady said that she paid around 300 dollars a piece for these bears they're very expensive because someone actually handmade them they're jointed they have the glass eyes i mean the quality on these is just amazing uh just very very detailed they all have like a little teddy bear necklace and their faces are just so precious. I mean, look at that. How can you say no to this teddy bear? He's so cute and you can sit him and he's just adorable and I'm seriously debating on keeping one of them for myself. I actually have, I only have one teddy bear um, up in my bookcase in the computer room. He was a German teddy bear. Um, his name is Hamish and I got him at kind of like an estate yard sale and he's absolutely adorable and I feel like he needs a friend. <laughs> so I might keep one of the bears for myself. But paid $25 for him 
and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $99.99. I think when I looked, there's only like 10 listings, which is not a lot, um, of these teddy bears. So, and I didn't want to list them all at once because I don't want to make it like a problem for myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just going to sell one, see what happens, and then go from there. So... We'll see, but I have high hopes for them because they're so stinking cute and I know how much that they were originally. I got another pair of shoes. These ones are dance goes. I actually got these at a yard sale maybe a year ago. And they look like this. They're really pretty. Have like two buckles with like the shimmery um, leather. And these are a size six and a half, seven. And I kept these because I was going to personally wear them, but they've been in my closet since I purchased them and I have yet to wear them. So I decided to get them listed. Um, but just very, very cute pair of dance goes and they're in really nice condition. I think like whoever owned them at first just probably wore them inside or tried them on type of thing because they look new. Um, I'd say I paid originally probably five, ten at the most for these. And I listed these as a buy it now for $45.99. So I did get some of the Christmas stuff listed that I went through in my vintage Christmas video. I still need to work on that pile. Um, I did get one of the Rosbro snowmen, um, listed. These are candy containers and this one is like the executive the businessman there's also like a regular snowman as well but this one has like the top hat the umbrella and he would have had glasses i know some people mentioned in the comments about how it could potentially be a monocle i mean that's what it looks like now and i mean that works but he definitely had glasses um because i you know did my research on him and all the other ones have glasses so he's missing part of his glasses and it also looks like he's missing his handle on his umbrella but he is a harder one to find the executive version of this Rosbro snowman. I did list him as a buy it now for $39.99. I also listed the Santa Claus, the plastic Santa Claus. He's like a rattle. He makes a rattling noise. He has some of this white rabbit fur around him. It's some of it's falling off. It's not immaculate type of thing, uh, but it is an old vintage Christmas item. I put him up as a buy it now for $15.99. This here just came with some stuff I won at an auction. Um, it's a really pretty picture someone made. Um, it's called Winged Heart and the artist's name is uh, Regan Mendenhall. So here is the, the little info there on the back and it has, so you can sit this down like on a desk or what have you uh, but it does look like it's signed and it's a pretty neat neat picture there so like I said this came with some stuff I won but I decided to list it uh, and this here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99 this next item also came from an auction this is a new old stock pack of dinosaurs by Tim me toys these are probably from the 90s um, Surprisingly, these were selling pretty decently. I was honestly surprised when I looked them up. I paid a dollar for them and I have them listed as a buy it now for $39.99. This next item also came from the auction. I was laughing hysterically at this when I saw it. So I just told Eric to bid on it um, when it came up, but I only wanted to pay a dollar, no more than a dollar for it and he won it for a dollar. But it's this little wooden plaque that says, you make my tiddlywink. <laughs> I just thought this was so hilarious. It is marked 1975 Wallace Berry on the bottom. So, I mean, the wood does have a little bit of like paint loss, but it's so hilarious and cute. So pick that up for a dollar and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. So cute little humor gag 
gag item. Um, this next item also came from an auction. This is an old Whitman's chocolate box. So it's just a tiny little chocolate box. This is complimentary on the side. So I don't know if it was like a salesman sample or, you know, they gave it out as like a gift to to someone or a business. I have no idea. But it's like an old advertising chocolate piece. So I uh, just paid $1 for this. And I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Uh, this was in the uh, tote of makeup that I purchased at a yard sale recently. I did already sell the primer of this, and this was another one that surprised me. Because this is e.l.f. And e.l.f. is a pretty, I don't want to say cheap makeup brand, but very like affordable uh, makeup brand. I wouldn't consider it high-end by any means. Um, but this, uh, what do they call it? Watermelon infused items we're selling pretty decently and like I said I already sold the primer um, I sold that for $19.99 so this here is called the glow stick so this is like a sheer it gives a luminous glow with a hint of color so kind of like a blush um, type of thing this here I listed also as a buy it now for $19.99 so I was surprised at the the prices these were selling for the watermelon infused elf makeup. I lied. 19 I sold the primer for $19.99. This I have listed as a buy it now for $22.99. So this one's a little bit harder um, to find. I got this really pretty coach crossbody bag at a yard sale. It has this metal chain and the bag is blue leather um it has some card slots on the back and then this is like for a phone basically so just when you want to take your phone out with you and some cards so i paid just five dollars for this at the yard sale and this one's actually a harder to find coach bag and pretty desirable. I listed this as a buy it now for $99.99 and it's in like new condition. I recently picked up this snack jar at a yard sale. I just thought this was really cool looking. It's glass. It's, it's a large glass canister with a screw top lid. And it just spells out snacks <laughs> across the front. I'm not entirely sure who made it. I just kind of like the look of it. And I only paid a dollar for it. So this here I have listed on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I did end up listing the other Living Dead doll that I got the day I got the uh, White Rabbit one. Uh, this one here, her name is Asa. And she is brand new still sealed I paid I think I paid 10 I want to say I want to say I paid $10 for her and I have her listed as a buy it now for $129.99 so like I said I do have just a very small collection of living dead dolls so if I have to hold on to her for a little while before she sells it's okay <laughs> This here was something that came with some stuff that I won at an auction and I was so surprised when I looked this up. This is like a mini compote dish or like an open open salt cellar, whatever you want to basically use it for. It's a blue like cased glass um, little piece and these were selling really well. Um, so like I said, this came with some stuff that I won. At an auction, I listed this as a buy it now for $59.99. And that is the currently that and that is currently the cheapest one available. So that was a surprising one. I got this at a yard sale for I think I paid a quarter for it. Um, this is just like a baby blanket lovey. Um, it's by Dandy sometimes um some of these what they call loveys the security type blanket toys can sell decently especially if you're not paying a whole lot for them so 25 cents for this and i listed it as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 i won this teapot at an auction and this has the mccormick logo on it 
On the bottom it says C-Day 1993. Upon my research, I'm pretty sure this was kind of like an employee type gift of like someone who worked at McCormick. They probably got it, um, you know, after working there for so many years and that type of thing. Um, so this here, I did pay $11 for and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. So this is great for anyone who one collects teapots or two collects advertising pieces. So it kind of goes hand in hand there. I ended up listing these ceramic owls. I listed them as the set. I found these at a Philomeg rummage sale. So they were probably hand painted by someone, but they're pretty cute. There's no, you know, whoever it was, they didn't sign them, but they're cute little ceramic owls. So I decided to list them. Listed them together for a buy it now of $24.99. I found these dolls in a box of some random toys. These, these are vintage from 1991. These were made by Play School and they're called Flippin' Fancy Dolls. So basically you can like change their, their looks, like they flip around and you can just intermix their faces or their clothing and that type of thing. Um, so I had never come across these out in the wild so I decided to pick them up. I paid a quarter for all of them and I listed these for a buy it now of $19.99. These here came from an auction. This is a set of vintage Yardley um, soaps in the scent English lavender. So they're like little guest bar soaps and they were still sealed in their packaging. Paid $1 for these and I have them listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Recently won this at an auction as well. This is a ceramic um, by Holland Mold. Halloween um, tombstone, it has a little ghosty here and it says I'm out of here on it. So um, it is marked Holland Mold on the back and then you can stick a light up in here so it all lights up. Um, I had never seen this one before. Won this at an auction like I said, I paid $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Got this set, um, it's a set of six miniature snowmen uh, Christmas ornaments. These would be perfect for like a mini Christmas tree. These are by Kurt Adler and they were made by, well they were made for Kurt Adler by Candy's Folk Art. That's what it says down here on the bottom. And then it says Kurt Adler back here on the barcode. So they're new in the box. Um, I think I paid about a dollar for these at a yard sale. And I listed them as a buy it now for $12.99. Also at a yard sale, I found a couple of these vintage um, Christmas ornaments. These are made of like, um, uh, what do you want to call that? It's... <laughs> Not necessarily foil, but kind of like that. Um, so there are seven of these Christmas ornaments. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for all of them. And I have the whole set of seven listed for a buy it now of $19.99. And I found this guy uh, last week while we were yard sailing. And it's just this really cute, this is by Imperial Glass. It's a slag glass. Um, owl and he is lidded so his little head comes off and he still has his stickers inside which is always cool. The one says Caramel Slag Endo Day Glass by Imperial and the other one just says Imperial Jar Cover and Slag it says. So really cool piece. I love this. Um, had it been a different color like if this had been like green or purple or red. I probably would have kept it for myself and just put it out in like my Halloween and or Christmas decorating. But since it's like an ambery colored glass, uh, I decided to list it. But paid $5 for this guy and listed him for a buy it now of $49.99. I got a candle. But guys, I don't plan on keeping this candle. Um, won this candle at an auction. 
pretty sure Eric paid three dollars for it. It's a Homeworks by Harry Slatkin in Spiced Spiced White Pumpkin. So it's a three wick. It's brand new. Smells amazing. Um, these were actually selling pretty decently, so I'm probably going to list this, but I'm not listing it during the summer because I fear, you know, it melting. So I'm gonna wait closer to fall to get this listed. But I do plan on actually listing that. So we'll see if I do or not, or if it somehow just, you know, goes into my pile of my, my candle hoard. <laughs> And then at the end of the video, I like to show you guys what I picked up for myself. And the only thing I really have to show recently that I picked up, um, Eric and I had stopped at an antique store um, like a week or so ago just to take a look around. And uh, we found this really cool uh, vintage, um, like Halloween themed pins. So these are like sewing pins, but they're called witch steel pins. And they have this great graphic of a witch on them. And then even on the back, there's like a black cat. So we paid a whopping $4 for these. And like, I could probably sell this right now. I think they're selling for like 30 bucks for just this little packet of pins. Um, but this is gonna go in our vintage Halloween decorating because I told Eric I wanna start picking up a couple of just, um, vintage Halloween more like ephemera type things with like just really nice vintage graphics on it and these just fit the bill absolutely perfectly so I was really excited to find those I wasn't expecting to find anything even Halloween related when we were out at the antique store but um really happy to find that for four dollars Oh, that is everything for this haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, what you thought the coolest find was. And hopefully you guys are finding some great things while out and about. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.